nervous yet? <laughs> uh, yes, she's nervous. No, I'm not. Why would I be nervous? You guys, this is the happiest day of my life. I mean, you know, you think about it and you dream about it when you're a little girl, and, and now it's all happening. Dress, man. The guests are arriving. I got something to do first. Look, you can't see her anyway. I'm your best man. And it's my job to get you to the altar, man. Come on, bro. Let's go. cheating men out here. Girl, you ain't lying about that. So many husbands got me on speed dial, it's ridiculous. See, that's why you're not married. Because you're too busy dating married men. <laughs> Whatever, you can't trust these men. Mm, sound like it's women like you we can't trust. <laughs> <laughs> Was just uh, you were just eavesdropping in my daughter's room. What is your problem? And do I need to help you solve it? Never work on me. Let him try to come home talking about, baby, I'm sorry I was drunk. It will be over. That you thought you were going to hear some dog secret I my daughter was going to share with her girls before she got married? <laughs> Maybe. You know, when I'm with them, I feel so young. I feel so free and so... Right. But, uh, <laughs> Trina, what you over there reading? Now, girl, you awfully quiet over there. I'm just reading this article on President Obama, the First Lady. Now, see, that is the perfect family. Mm -hmm. Seems like it. But remember, he's still a man. And that's true. But you know what? The difference is, this is a man that's in love. And listen up, ladies. Men in love don't cheat. It's as simple as that. <laughs> we have the same values of the First Family. <laughs> You know, but I mean, even if President Obama did cheat, I mean, it wouldn't mean he doesn't love Michelle. He could tell him he feels about her the way he looks at her. You know, and, and, and if it did happen, it would probably just be some extreme moment of weakness, and for her to forgive him would be a good thing. Right? But I wouldn't. Because, listen, if they do it once, they will do it again. And life yeah. is too short for second chances just to screw it up again. Mm. Girl. You are nothing like your sister. Yeah, she's getting married and you're juggling dates at a wedding. <sighs> right now, I'm having fun. I watch my sister do this all the time in high school. You just don't let everybody know that you're dating exclusively. Mm. So in a way, you are like your sister. <laughs> Good, because I want to be in a wedding someday since I'm not getting married, so. I'm not. I don't want to end up divorced like my parents. <laughs> you're not your parent. I know. <laughs> you get married. <laughs> Okay, she's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay, right? Hello? <laughs> Where are you? Mama, what's wrong? 
The wedding is about to start. I'm going to be a little late for the wedding. I had to go pick up Steven. We run into a detour. Oh, somebody's going to walk my baby down the aisle. All right, all right. All these people here are waiting. We can't wait any longer. But OK, OK, we're going to make it. Look, the only two people that matters are here, and that's Robin and Thomas. Bye. What happened? Are you hung up on? Shut up! She's going to kill me. Thank you very much. Excuse me, fellas. I have a semi-emergency here. What's wrong, Miss Betsy? Where is Gary's tuck? It's right there. And where's he anyway? Oh, God only knows where he is. In order for him to get here, he had to take a detour, but I can't worry about that right now. Somebody's going to walk my baby down the aisle. Hey, um... Charlie! Oh. Hey! <laughs> Miss Bessie, how you doing? Hey, long God, time no see. Yeah, long time okay. no see. Okay. okay, well, I'm gonna find Robin's Uncle Robin. Cause I think he can fit this tux. Uh, Miss Bessie, don't you think we need to wait for Mr. Gary? Look, son, it is almost six o'clock, okay? And the wedding's about to start. So we got to move on. Okay. Okay. That's my son-in-law to be. so beautiful. You look good, too. Thank you. But I need you to go change into this. What? Please, no. just do this for me. OK, OK, okay come on, come on, come on, come on. I love it. Let's see what's going on. Shh, shh, shh. OK, I need you to walk my baby down the aisle. OK, oh, Gary's going to be late. You know what, Herb? You think I should have got a shorter no, one? It's it seems perfect. a little long. It's perfect. OK, OK. Perfect. OK, OK, OK. The church is perfect. <gasps> is the unity candle here? Yes. Did little Poochie make it yet? Oh, he's yes. going to look so cute coming down the aisle with the ring. Oh, my God, I almost what? forgot. Here you go. Oh, the maid of honor carries the ring. Oh. Mm. oh. OK, you all ready? Yeah, you got the ring? I got the ring. Ready? Man, are you sure so you ready, B? Yeah. Man, of course he's ready. You're about to marry a beautiful woman out there, man. I envy you. All righty, y'all. Let's do this. Ooh. You on deck, B. Ready? Let's get it, baby. Do it. Do it. All right. You got it? I got it. Well, next we ought to show up to my wedding and get my dress. Come on, get my dress. Okay. I'm nervous. Careful, careful. 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 careful, guys. Careful. OK. Careful. 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 Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join Robin and Thomas in holy matrimony. Does anyone here who feels that this woman and this man should not be joined together, let him speak now or forever hold their peace? Do you, Robin, take Thomas to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold together, to love, honor, and cherish, for better or for worse, through sickness and health, for richer or for poor, till death do you part? I do. Do you, Thomas, take Robin to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold together, to love, honor, and cherish, for better or for worse, through sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, to death do you part. Um, Thomas, you, uh, you have to answer. What's up, son? You got cold feet, huh? Oh, hey, Mr. Gary. What'd you say? 
What is on your mind, young man? Nothing. I, I just want everything to go right, that's all. Trust me. Betsy and Robin have put so much into this thing that even if something could go wrong, they've already got plans for it. <laughs> all you've got to do is show up. That's it. The wedding will take care of itself. You're right. I know I have nothing to worry about. Right. Now, where did you put my tux? <laughs> it's right in there, hanging right next to Devin's. All right. You coming? Yeah, yeah, I'll be in. All right. That's why it is a free country, and you are free to walk your little tail up the street and get your own. Well, what type of greedy chick gets Popeyes on her wedding day anyway? Oh, Isn't this supposed to be a day for top-of-the-line cuisine? I know you're not getting grease <laughs> on my brush. We not, I swear. And for your information, this is top-of-the-line, OK? Don't be mad because you're missing out, because let me see, it looks Real crispy and spicy. Mom! Look, girl, what you calling okay, me for? Okay. You know I ain't never had no control over your sister. <laughs> oh, OK. All that little teeth smacking. Yeah, get on gotta on. end. This is my girl's wedding day. You know what? Y'all should just get out, all right? Right out, oh, young girl. See ya. Bye, Roll young out. Out. Mom! Oh, okay. Bye, Bye. 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 Sister, see. Come on. Okay. Now, this is her wedding day. Oh, now, okay, okay, when okay. you get a nice young man to ask you for your hair, then you'll get a chance to kick her out when you get ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, man? Today is a day. Yep. This is it. We'll turn it back after today. What's up, big brother? You ready for your show today? Show? That's what you think this is? Ladies, y'all remember my brother. And little man over there is Wendell. Ladies, I'm tall when I need to be. Man, don't go there. I can wait for me. Devin, why do you always have to show off? And by show off, you mean what? You know what I mean. I told you I didn't want a limo or any other stretch vehicle. Yeah, you said you. What does that have to do with me? I mean, you know how I roll. Yeah, I do. So for once, can we turn off the spotlight? And hey, what's with all the hating, bro? Uh, fellas, this is a wedding. Hey, look, I'm about to go get dressed, man. Where's my tux? In my dressing room, two doors down from the pastor's office. Hey, what's up with that, man? What? I was giving you brother a hard time. 
Look, Wendell, just leave that alone. And this wedding got you bugging. Before you go off the deep end, could you at least hook me up with Robin's girl? Who? Trina. Trina? <laughs> Man, we need to go get dressed. What's wrong with Trina? <laughs> oh my God, Robin, I cannot wait to see you in this dress. God, I know. Oh, you're gonna look so beautiful. Beautiful little figure. He's gonna <laughs> die when he sees you. Oh, Rob, I know. I can't wait to see his face when you come down and out. He's gonna be so proud of you. He better. She took a step down to be with him as it is. Mama, why you gotta start? Come on, girl, give me a piece of that chicken. No, that's my chicken. I'm saving it. After 17 hours of labor, oh, here we go. I can have a piece of whatever you got. Oh, here we go. 17 hours? Oh, my god. You're a better woman than me. <laughs> oh, that speaks for itself. See, I knew how to keep a man in my day, baby. Mama, they just broke up, hush now. Well, what you want me to do? I just call it like I see it. <sighs> now, if you young girls will stop all this Popeyes and Burger King and get your fast tails in the kitchen, then maybe you could keep a man. <clears throat> OK, with all respect. Tell her. Please okay, let her first, know. I don't touch fast food. Uh -huh. And second, I work. I don't need to cook. Why can't a man cook? Child. <laughs> I don't need to hear no excuses. Yeah, I had two jobs. Uh -huh. And I still had a hot dinner on the table every night for those children. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> OK. Now, I respect your opinion, OK? <laughs> but that was then, and this is now. You are exactly right. You had a man, then. Oh, no. And now you don't. Oh, oh no. God. I still got my man, baby. Miss Bessie knows how to keep her right here. Oh, no, 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 no. OK, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, your daddy had benefits and all, and I needed benefits for my my, my back and all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mama, no, please. I can't imagine what it feels like. I cannot wait until it's my turn. <laughs> wow. That's going to be a long wait with them big hands you got. Oh. You got big hands like a truck driver. No. <laughs> Ain't no man going to want to take that yeah. hand in marriage, boo. No. Look you, at him. Yeah. It big. Mama. Oh. Humongous. Mama. Oh. OK, Mr. <laughs> all right, all right. So, Robin, how does it feel? You are going to be the one and only Mrs. Thomas Parker. Mm. No. <laughs> you know what, to be honest, y'all, it just feels so surreal. I mean, you know, you think about it and you dream about it when you're a little girl, and, and now it's all happening. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't understand why you got to spend three hours talking on the phone, talking about Big Wayne and $50 and carrying on. Mama, it's Lil Wayne and 50 cents. Well, tell Lil Wayne to come up with $95.50 to pay on what you went over on your plan this month. You little heathen child. And you too. Girl, I wish you would roll your eyes. Oh, no. So, sis. Yeah. Can I borrow your keys while you and Thomas go to Cancun? Your honeymoon? <laughs> Girl, you must have had one too many caramel frappuccinos. You already know the answer to that. Go on. Go on. Bye. He's youngest, I'm telling you. You know what? <clears throat> uh... <laughs> hey, then where you off to? There you are. I was just calling you. I left my phone in the car on the charger. The battery is dead as a doornail. I'm going back in here and check on Robin. Look, why don't you let me go say hello to her? She must be a bundle of nerves right now. No, you can't go in there yet. She's not ready yet. I'm sure she's just as beautiful as you were the day I married you. <laughs> what's up, little whippersnappers? <laughs> what's up, Mr. Gary? Hey, man, that was some party all through last night. Sure about that, huh? Tell me something. Do you really know all them women? Or did you hire them? Mr. Gary, man, you know I don't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> 
He don't pay for it. He just begs for it. Ah, you got it. Ooh, <laughs> begs for it, huh? That's funny, man. But since it's my big brother Thomas's day, I'm not gonna swat on you right now, man. Okay. I'm gonna say that for the reception. We already seen the shorties I got lined up for the night, man. And I got one more coming. Now, trust me, I'm gonna be the one begging. That's your specialty, <laughs> man. Just give me one bad chick so I can spoil her. I'm looking for a woman you can keep your little girls. I'm all about Trina. One more coming. Three you came with aren't enough? Now, Trina ain't trying to mess with you, man. She needs somebody eye level. She ain't trying to bend over like that, man. You get a girl back problems, but she in her 40s, man. <laughs> Nah, I ain't trying to brag, but back in my day, I took out a couple backs. <laughs> but that was before I was saved. <laughs> Sorry, Pops. Anything before 1940 is off the record. It doesn't count. I don't make the rules. <laughs> you know we're just fooling around, Mr. Gary. Oh, I know. Go ahead on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. My goodness, Betsy. This church is so bare. You should have hired an interior decorator rather than having it look like this. What do you mean, looking like this? Before long, this church will have the most beautiful scenery you've ever seen. You don't think you're in the Garden of Eden. Trust me, my baby is going to have the perfect wedding day. Too bad I can't say the same about my son because he's marrying your daughter. Oh, you're right about the Garden of Eden. Yeah, she's the snake. Ah, uh, come on, come on. You, you ain't gonna be talking about my baby, you know what, because I'm from the southwest side of Houston. Have you lost your ever-loving <laughs> lasting mind? There you go, go ahead. What is it with you, Rita, huh? I mean, ever since they have been together, all I ever hear is how you don't like it. Give it a rest, Rita. My daughter didn't do you anything. Oh. I know what your problem is. I know how you feel. I do. See, my son got married and got stationed in Iraq. And he couldn't even get a leave to come home to his own sister's wedding today. But it's OK. He's living his life. He's made his decision. And I've accepted that. But I got to go on, and you'll do too, Rita. Devin, he has his own world. But Thomas is all I've got. No, Rita. No, Rita. Jesus is all you got. So you just trust him. He'll fill that void. And stop taking all this energy to hate on my daughter and just take some of that energy to find you some friends. You might not feel so lonely. You don't know anything about me. I know this. This I know. You, you got a whooping waiting right over here with your name on it. Come on. Foolish. Come on, come on. No, so you, it, it, come on. Better be glad we're in the church. Oh. So, Robin, you gonna hook me up with one of Thomas' fine friends or what? Oh, you know what, please. You always talk about somebody hooking you up. Go put your dress on, girl. Did you just find a new boo? Yes, a new boo. But I need a man. Mm. I'm tired of fooling around with this one and that one. I want something real. I want something with Robin and Tom is how. Oh, please, you say that now at 4.30 p.m. By 10.30 p.m. after reception, you're going to be looking for some other guy to take you out to a club, and then after that, another one to take you home. Yeah. You ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> Shut up, Shay. Nobody asked you. OK, ladies, ladies, chill out now. I don't want to hear all of this. And besides, Tasha, I don't think you would be interested in Thomas's. Besides, friend. what about his brother? Isn't he single? Uh-uh. I thought you said you wanted what Robin has. I do. 
Baby, you ain't gonna find that in no single football player. Yeah. Mm. I heard about and I heard about that bachelor party that night. What? Oh no. Oh, you know nothing. Just guys being guys, no worries. Yeah, how you hear about it? You don't need to ask me about all that. No, how did you hear about it? I wanna know. Okay, you, you you remember Jasmine we went to school with? Well, she's a stripper now, and she calls herself Sprinkles. Okay, no, that's Sprinkles. okay. You can actually spare me the details. Yes, that's right. You just concentrate on marrying a man in your dreams. Yes. Becoming a princess for a day. <laughs> Leave all that nonsense alone. That's beautiful. <laughs> Have you seen your sister and her little friends? No, Mama. I think they're probably outside. Oh, I hope she's not running up that cell phone bill. Mama, um, I have a bad feeling in my stomach. Is everybody here? Hold on. Girls, can y'all please give me and my baby a moment, please? Thank you. Hi, y'all look so pretty. Oh, See you later. Okay. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Okay. Come on, come on, baby. Okay. Is this about Thomas? I'm sure he is here. Everything is going to be fine. Okay. This is your okay. wedding day. I'm just so nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. No, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, listen, that's all I'm saying. Uh, uh, Thomas, why aren't you dressed yet? It's still early. It just takes me a second to get ready. I'll be ready. <laughs> yeah, well, I know you better not be late getting down to the altar, OK? Mm -hmm. Hey, Tasha. What's up, Gina? Hey. Yeah, hey. Devin, you don't oh, see me standing here? Hey, Tasha. What are you taking a picture of? So you gotta take me to the reception tonight? OK, you know what? Don't even listen to her. Where are you guys going anyway? My man's just taking a walk in a breath of fresh air. That's a all. breath of fresh air? You better not be trying to sneak a peek at Robin's dress. You know what they say. I don't believe in all that superstitious stuff. And no, I am not trying to sneak a peek. We'll see y'all girls later. Okay. okay, see you. Wait. Bye, Devin. Um, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? I'm good. Okay. No cold feet. Watching my girl's back. You are so gorgeous. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Even though I'm taking a step down? OK. I know I say a lot of things about Thomas and things like he's not on your level. But I really do think he's a good guy. And he loves you. And that's what matters. Thanks, Mom. That means a lot coming from you. Besides, you're an attorney. And I am far from worried about him taking you to the cleaners if something was to go wrong. Mom. OK, I'll just joking. I'll just joking. No, you weren't. <laughs> Man, how did you catch that pass? Man, he went back in the pocket. Dog, it's all about your balance. You feel. OK, you you either you got the skills see. or you don't, man. man you it's one or the other, man. Come on, that pass. I got to get it to you. That's that big bro. But I still can't believe you're actually getting married. Man, I can't even see how you're doing making a commitment like that with this sea of women out here. What are you talking about, shorty doo-wop? Now, Thomas has always been the marrying type. Now, ever since we went high school, Thomas was the only one that was really faithful to his girlfriend. Thomas, you are the only one for me. Man, you all right? I got to go call this shorty back, man. Oh, excuse me. I'm in high demand right now. Tootie. What are you doing? And does your sister know that you took her car? And where are y'all coming from? That's right. You're busted. And wait till your mother finds out, and you know she doesn't play. And where'd you get the car keys? Look, Thomas. Me and you, we're cool. I like you. I'm actually happy you're marrying my sister. We were bored. We just took the car for a little ride. Everybody's in there being all nervous and starting to lose their cool. We just want to chill for a minute. Please don't tell. Or could you wait till after the ceremony? You go on your honeymoon? Give the kids a break. You know, we used to do stuff like that. 
I'll think about it. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> so you really gonna rat on him? No, but I am gonna let her sweat it out. <laughs> so what's bugging you, man? Why do you keep asking me that? What do you mean? You've been acting weird all day, and I know it's not just wedding day jitters. Think you know me? I do. So what's up? Nothing. I'm just, just nervous. That's all. I'm just nervous. All right. All right. Hi, Rita. Betsy, is there something I can help you with? Well, pardon me, but I was merely looking for a restroom. Oh, hello, Robin. Hello, Miss Rita. <laughs> oh, that lady just gets on my nerves sometimes. Well, married a man, you're married a mama. So she's gonna be in your life, so you just need to be all right with that, okay? I know, yeah. but she needs to get used to me. That's my man now, and I'm not going anywhere. Oh, don't worry, baby. Neither am I. I mean, she's just a little lonely, that's all, baby. But now if, just if, she gets on your nerve a little bit too much, all you gotta do is call me and I will beat that. Mama! What? I can't protect my baby? <laughs> Yes, you can protect your baby, and that's what you've been doing. But now it's time for me to protect myself and look after myself, okay? Oh. I love you so much. I love you too, Mama. <laughs> okay, 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 enough of that. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough, okay? We're gonna mess up our makeup. I know, and Tanya's <laughs> gonna kill me. <laughs> Tanya. Ain't nobody scared of no Tanya. Yes, I know. You're not scared of nobody, but everybody's scared of you, and that's OK. Not everybody's scared of you. That's OK. <laughs> Uh, and where are you ladies going? We're going to get something to eat. That sounds like a good idea. Can we tag along? Of course. We can take my truck. Devin, you can ride in front with me here. Are you coming? No, it's OK, but guys, please, don't be late. We won't. Hey, this is Charlie. He said he's on his way. Y'all go ahead. I'm gonna wait for him. I haven't seen him since college, and that'll give me a chance to get dressed. Okay. Charlie made it in town already? Yep. Y'all go ahead. Hmm? I can't do it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. You can't do what? You're getting married in an hour. No. I love Robin, and I want to spend the rest of my life with her, but I can But, but no. There's no buts. You love her. Everything is yes, fine. No. OK, look, don't think I haven't noticed how weird you've been wow. acting. Okay. No. You need to pull it together, OK? Everything's going to be fine. Don't you feel like you No. OK. Not now. You'll be fine. You love her, OK? See the daughter. Okay? Mm -hmm. I can't come get you. Man, you're going to make me late for the wedding. I have to be here to walk Robin down the aisle. Well, then walk. Steve, you need the exercise. <laughs> All right, old man. I'm coming to get you. Damn. What do I sign? It's 12 dozen, right? Yeah. Thanks. Mr. Gary, where are you going? Uh, I got to go pick up Steve. His old car finally broke up with him and kicked him out on the highway down the road. Well, don't come back late. All the guests will be on their way soon. I won't be long. All right. All right. What's up, man? 
You ready for a toast before the big moment? Not yet. I'm still waiting for Charlie. You not here? Nah, he should be pulling up soon. Keep the secret right. What? The car. That's our secret, right? Oh, you should know I can't keep secrets. <sighs> no wonder my sister's marrying you. Is that cigarettes I smell? Cigarettes kill, and so does her mama. Talking, Miss Esquire. The first you need to marry in Thomas. Thought you'd be marrying a millionaire, honey. Shut up! Oh, girl, for once, I agree with Tasha. Okay, Robin told me when y'all were in high school, <laughs> she wouldn't look twice at a man who wasn't wearing Gucci or Bally's, okay? And Bally's were questionable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, well, guys, people change. Uh-huh, you're right. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, after I got out of law school and actually had time to have a social life, I realized that most of the guys that wore Gucci's were so into themselves, it became revolting. They shot more than me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I met my Thomas. Um, mm. what happened? I mean, what made Thomas so different and you knew he was the one? He wore Prada's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just playing. But seriously, most of the guys that I had dated up until then were always talking about themselves and what they wanted out of life. And that was cool. You know, I actually admired their ambition. But Thomas is just as ambitious. He just got two promotions this year and okay. he caters to the spot that most men don't even know exists. And what spot might that be? Mm, I know what she means. She means he hits her spot and gives her multiple. You know what? <laughs> no, that is not what I'm talking about. I mean, he hits the part of my heart that brings me back to my youth. I feel so young when I'm with him, like so free and so free to love. You know, I don't feel like I have to hide anything from him because I know he doesn't hide anything from me. You know, I remember one time we were having dinner together and we were talking about our feelings about each other and y'all know how that go. I love you. I love you too. Mm, but I love you more. <laughs> no, I love you more and I'll prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Robin. I love you. I love you. It was so embarrassing. My face turned red and he got a jaywalking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> but he said he didn't care. Oh, didn't get married? Well, I'm too scared of all these cheating men out here. Because you know what? If us women remember that we're women and keep our men interested in us, then they wouldn't cheat. You don't know how many times I hear men say the reason why they step out on a woman is because they lost the fire or the women don't pay attention to them. Hmm. Robin, you're a successful lawyer. Please don't let that happen to y'all. I'll trust. It won't, okay? Because that's the good thing about Thomas. He has never lied and he has never cheated on me. He's never given me one reason not to trust him. And that's why I can't wait to meet him at the altar today. <laughs> never? How can you say never? Because I know. He values my trust. He tells me everything. He comes across many Tashas that try mm. to tempt him and take him home. But you know what? He always comes home to me. Whatever. 
I remember one time he was at the bar and he called me because he was drunk and he didn't want to drive home. And even though he didn't drive home, it was because he said he didn't want to put himself in the position to where he didn't remember what he was doing and wake up with some stranger or something. And that's when I knew that he was the man for me. Girl, that's some real stuff right there. He called you mm -hmm. when he could have had a valid excuse for messing up? Wow. A valid excuse? Please! Yeah. That whole, I didn't know what I was doing, I was drunk. Please, that is some BS, and it would never work on me. I think this is it right here, Bia. It's good right here. Might be the spot, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, it's good. This will be my man's right here. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's about time. For a minute, I didn't think you was coming. In my bad, I'm a working man now, baby. I got mortgages to pay. It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you too, man. Now, where's your man, Devin? You know he took my spot in the wedding. You know I'm supposed to be best man in the wedding, right? Yeah, you should. But mama insisted that it wouldn't be right. But the good thing is that you're at the wedding. These inside. Come on, man. <laughs> You look good, man. Yeah, working out. <laughs> you know the fiance like it like that. <laughs> you ain't gonna need this out here, though. Come on, man. Let's get you, man. Now step off the plane, ladies. Please. Wait till Kev sees you. Ah, uh, it's a good one. Oh, Charlie. What's going on? Yeah. How you doing? Hey, good. Oh, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, have either of you seen Tootie around? No, she went out to help with the flowers, I think. Okay. I just got it. I'm clueless. I'm hungry. I'm uh, all, right. It, all right. Get it. Good, Take care of him, okay? I gotta be back. Don't worry. All right. Bye, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. I know what's bothering you. How do you know something's bothering me? Come on, B. This is me. You scared. You think somebody's gonna find out about your little secret? Right? Yeah, and it's eating me up inside. I can't marry Robin without telling her the truth. Come on, B. That was a long time ago. We were in college. You got to let it go. Man, listen, take my advice. You got to forget about it. I tried to forget about it. I can't. I feel guilty. Robin thinks that she's marrying this honest man, man and, and I'm keeping this secret from you her. Are, you are an honest man. Dude, you're the only dude I know right now that isn't currently having an affair on his wife. Y'all been together way too long, B. <laughs> yeah. I, I hear you, and I wish I didn't feel that way, but I do. I, I agree, no secrets. And if I'm gonna be the man that she thinks that I am, then, then I'm just gonna have to tell her. What? You tripping. Look, you are tripping. But listen up, real talk. I'm here for you, man. Whatever it takes to make this day happen, I got you. I appreciate that. All right? Look, I, I need some time alone, all right? <laughs> no problem. All right, listen. Remember, man, whatever it takes, no matter what, I got you, all right? Stop tripping, man. Perk up. You're getting married today, man. You're getting married. <sighs> what is all of this? See that construction? You come this way? Man, I barely noticed you on the road. The eyes are the first thing to go. You know that. And you know what they say? Something else is. You just hush your mouth. I am all right in that department. You just ask Betsy. She'll tell you. Shut up, man. I can do without that visual. Turn left here. Yeah, I know a shortcut. A shortcut, huh? Yes, shortcut. Man, Steve, if you make me miss this wedding, I'm going to cut you short. Shut up and turn. Charlie? Man, I haven't seen you since. Yeah, you haven't seen me since your brother's injury. You left us to play pro ball. What, I'm supposed to apologize for that, man? Look here, man, I'm not saying you were supposed to apologize, but you could have took the situation a little more sensitive. You at least could have waited until the doctors let us know if he's going to ever play again. Man, look, this is too deep, man. Come on, it's man, it's deep. Thomas Wedding, bro. Chill. It's Thomas Wedding, huh? We here for tea, man. Only because it's for tea, I'm going to let you slide, me. Sure. All right, how you been? I've been good, man. Looking you looking good, man? We're feeling good, man. Y'all good. Like you and your brother been working yeah, out, man. see that, bro. We here, man. Look, I heard about the bachelor party. about that. 
Damn, pictures right there, folks. Oh, not inside the church, you tripping. However, let's go outside and let me see, because I got to see it. I heard they had midgets, big girls, small girls. I'm letting you know. I'm ready. Are you? Are you serious? <laughs> Do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> well, you know, this is like a huge step. The divorce rate is high. Robin. No, I'm serious. I mean, listen to me, Thomas. If we're going to do this, we have to be completely committed to each other. 100% honest. There can't be any secrets. No. No secrets. I promise. Hey, Thomas. Hey, there you are. are. Mm. Yeah. I was looking for you. Yes, yeah, sit, sit. You're nervous, huh? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's OK to be nervous. It's normal to be nervous. But if you're too nervous, don't worry about it. We can call the whole thing off. Ma. You don't have to worry. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you, baby. Oh, my baby. Get married. I'm just so sorry your dad is not alive to see this day. And yeah, me too. He'd be so proud of you. Just like I am. Ma, mm -hmm. you don't even like Robin. I like that girl. I just didn't want you to know. <laughs> I didn't want her to get too comfortable either. <laughs> Ma, I have something to tell Robin, and after I tell her, there might not be any wedding. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She cheated on you, huh? I knew it. No, 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 no. It's, it's nothing like that. Well, well, what? I've been keeping something from her for a long time. And I just feel like I need to tell her before we get married. <sighs> well, baby, if it's bothering you this much, then you do need to tell her. And if she really loves you, She'll forgive you. And it's better that you tell her now than to wait till 10 years from now when it really hurts her. Son, look, remember, what's done in the dark always comes to the light. Yeah. You're right. I love you. I love you, too. Thank you. Out of here. Yeah, Dad, let's go. I'm sure you're in need of a drink right about now. Just chill, my baby dogs. Look, just go back in here and have a seat for me. Unbelievable. What? Have you any respect? We are in a church for Christ's sake. You know, at first I was kind of feeling you. I wanted to get to know you better. I thought you stereotyped into that bachelor football star. I don't know what in hell made me think you was wanting something real. All you men, you're exactly the same. Trifling. And to think, I practically begged Robin to hook me up with you. So glad she ignored me. So glad. <laughs> she told you. Shut up, shorty. Are you sure this is the way? Yes. Take this street right here. Leads it right in front of the church. I go this way every Sunday. Man, we're in somebody's yard. Oh, oh really, man? Shut Just... up. I will find it. I will find. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear another TD word from you. Okay? to marry a beautiful woman out there, man. I envy you. Envy me? I'm stuck working at a desk job at a bank, and you're living out your childhood dream of being a football star. I mean, it's, it's no secret that I wish I didn't get hurt. I'd trade places with you any day. I know you would. Because if you're me, you'd be stuck in a world of groupies, 
and gold diggers. I'm too afraid to settle down. Because I never know if someone wants me for me or if they want me because of this lifestyle. And you got the real thing. Penthouse suites, five-star hotel rooms, $1,100 a night. And wild parties after winning the Super Bowl, $20,000. Waking up the next morning to a woman who loves me. That's priceless. Cherish it, man. And always be good to her. Love you, bro. Thanks. Love you too, Devin. Sun shines another day, and yet the only thing that I can see are visions of you laughing as I smile your way. Girl, I'm so thankful for you, baby. Sometimes I sit and think to myself. What have I done to deserve you? Then God answers with a whisper Telling me that we're put fear To serve his purpose Your gift from above The Lord must truly love me, darling Because he gave me you I'm so glad, I'm so glad, I'm so, so glad that I found you, baby, I'm so glad, I'm so glad I found you, I'm so glad that I found you. Thomas, you uh, have to answer. Robin, I, I need to tell you something. What? Right here, right now, at this very moment? Yes, now, but not here. We need a minute. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's obvious that this couple need a moment. Follow me to my office. Have a seat. I'm gonna let you two have your moment, but uh, I want you to let me know real soon whether this ceremony is going to take place or not. Yes, of course, Pastor Grove. You, you really freaking me out. What is going on? Well, you don't want to marry me? No, no, no. It's nothing like that. It, I can't wait to marry you. Well, you're not acting like you can't wait to marry me. What's wrong? I have something to tell you. What, you're gay? Wait, what are you, bisexual? You're already married? Oh, no, what? that's not it. Just be quiet and let me tell you. I'm listening. Now, you remember when we agreed there would be no secrets between us? Yes. OK, well, there was one. And I can't marry you with a secret between us. I want you to trust me. OK. OK, a long time ago, a long, long time ago. Hey, I... what's going on? Trina, can you just give us a second? No, Please. no, no, Trina, come in.
Now, like I was saying, a long, long Thomas. time Thomas. ago. Thomas, look. Don't do this. I know this has been bothering you. It's been bothering me too, but not now. Don't do this. What do you mean, don't do this? What is going on? Look, while we were still in undergrad, Trina and I drank too much, and we ended up in bed together. I'm sorry, but I, I could not marry you with you thinking that I was perfect. And I swear to you, I have never, ever done anything besides that time. It was tearing me up. I couldn't think, I couldn't look at myself. I can't look at myself today. I need you to forgive me. Uh-huh. Forgive you? I hope you rot in hell. What am I supposed to tell everybody out there? We will tell them that we have to deal with something that needed immediate attention. Uh, you think I'm still gonna marry you? Wait, 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 why are you saying that? What the hell did you expect from me to say? What, then it was okay that you only did it one time? Are you crazy? Stop with my best friend! Get out! Babe, I can't. Get out! <sighs> Men in love don't cheat. It's as simple as that. Because that's the good thing about Thomas. He has never lied and he has never cheated on me. He's never given me one reason not to trust him. And that's why I can't wait to meet him at the altar today. <gasps> everybody, but uh, the groom seemed to have a few last-minute wedding jitters, men. They can commit to watching a football game every Sunday, but when it comes to marriage, they can't even get on with it. What's that all about? <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> oh. Bobby, what happened? He slept with Trina, my best friend. Did this happen during your engagement? No, he said it happened a long time ago, but it still happened. Oh, Robin. You know, you know he didn't have to tell you. And there's a lot to say about uh, someone who's willing to tell the truth, even have to admit his timing is a bit off. But sometimes when the spirit hits you to do the right thing, it's kind of hard to control it. Yeah, well, the spirit should have moved him not to sleep with my best friend. And what about her? What kind of friend is she? You know, I don't want anything to do with either of them. You know, Robin. Robin, you've been given a hard pill to swallow. And now you have to make a choice. But I want you to know that true love is unconditional. Now, you can't let anger and mad cloud your judgment. I want you to think about it. I'm going to leave you alone. And I want you to think about the choice and decisions that you have to make before I go out and speak to the congregation on your behalf. I want you to think real hard. Love is unconditional. Think about it. What was that all about? Yeah, girl, I have never seen a one postponed after the first I do. What's going on? How am I supposed to know? Girl, look, there's Kevin. And Randy. Oh. Um, yes, you're right. I should go check on my sister. I'm gonna go check on my sister. Yeah. 
What do you want? I came to check on you. Are you okay? So you know what happened? No, but I know it must be pretty bad for you to be in here instead of out there. But whatever it is, the, the people are still out there waiting. It could be fixed. Come on. All you have to do is remember why you woke up this morning and you drove over here. You got your hair done and your nails. Put on this pretty dress. <laughs> you got some Popeye's chicken that you wouldn't <laughs> let me have any of. It's OK. It could be way worse. Isn't that what you always tell me? I didn't think you were listening to what I tell you. <laughs> Are you kidding? I listen to everything you tell me. <laughs> even though you might not think so. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting married today, little sister. Nonsense. <laughs> you know what happened? Here. I ran into Trina in the bathroom. She told me everything. I just came in to check on you. I'm so sorry. I know it's real messed up. <laughs> messed up is an understatement. My wedding day is ruined. I'm shocked. I don't even want to see Trina right now. I mean, I understand it was a long time ago, but she broke the code. You just don't do that. This is coming from a woman who's on husband's speed dials. Shay, I don't know those women. I would never do that to my friend. Okay, look, me either. But Robin, you and Trina have been friends longer than any of them. But baby, you gotta forgive her. What? It's not worth losing your friendship over. That's easy for you to say. She didn't sleep with your man. Tasha. We are all human. We all make mistakes. I hear what you're saying, but how do I get over the pain that I feel right now? God's help, OK? He's not just the provider of material things. He heals hearts, and he gives us peace, real peace that surpasses all understanding. Think about it. Think about how many times he's forgiven us for our sins. Why did you get so spiritually profound? <laughs> no, I know a little something, something. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Tootie. Tootie, too. <laughs> Trina, are you out your mind? You have some nerve showing up here. Robin does not want to see you. You know what? It's OK. Robin, can I just talk to you for a minute? Mom. No, Robin. Give us a minute. Yeah, sure. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, give us a minute. Are you sure? I'm all right. Come on. Robin, I'm so sorry. planet and I didn't even want it to happen I mean we just ran into each other late one night at some club and drank in and there's some weird guy and he started hitting on me and I decided to pretend I was with Thomas bad idea anyway at the time I didn't think it was, so we just kept drinking. And we got caught up in the music, and God, I'm so sorry. 
I know it was wrong. I do. And you can... You can hate me. And you could never talk to me again and, and throw our friendship away. I'll understand that, but don't. Don't throw away your happiness for something that meant absolutely nothing. I know that man loves you. And deep in your heart, even if you don't want to admit it right now, I love him, too. Don't let go. I accept your apology. And I love you, too. Come here. I'm so, I'm so sorry, I'm, Rob. I swear. I didn't mean to man. hurt you. Um. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's your office. Can we talk alone? No. But we can talk. I'm just gonna give you guys some space. Thank you for letting me explain. You know what, I don't... I really don't need an explanation from you. I really don't need to hear anything. Well, how about an apology a million times? I can't turn back the hands of time, but if I could, I would. I swear to you, I have never wanted another woman the way that I want you. Gina and I just got caught up in the moment after all of that drinking. It didn't mean anything, nothing. And the only reason I told you is because I didn't want to start a new life with you with, with any secrets. And I knew I couldn't do that if, if I was holding that one back from you. So please, take my hand. I know you love me. And I, I know you're hurting, and, and I'm hurting too because I hurt you. When you cry, I cry. When you laugh, I laugh. We already won. Let's just make it official. I don't know if I can get over it. Um, let us, um, let us let go and let God, shall we pray? Father God, your word say, Father, that whomever you unite together, let no man asunder. Right now, Father God, I'm asking for complete restoration in your work, Father God. Right now, Father God, there's a, a distrust, mistrust in this relationship. The enemy came by, Father God, and stole the joy out of what was a wonderful relationship. We ask you right now to, for you to come and restore that trust, Father. Give her peace of mind, your child, Father God. Let her know that you are unconditional love and, and you, you, you saturate every all of us, all of your children with love, Father God. And we ask you to restore the trust and the faith back in relationship the way you intended it. In the name of your son, your precious son, Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's do it together, Robin. <clears throat> um. Robin, while we're on this whole confession thing, I kind of have a confession to make. I took your car without you knowing, but, but it's okay. I didn't even get a scratch on it. Whew. <clears throat> this confession stuff sure feels good. Yeah, we just gonna see how good it feels when I just jack your tail up. I'm... Uh... <laughs> Robin, will you marry me? 
Will you marry me? Did I miss the ceremony? No. <laughs> you right on time. Listen, call oh, Uncle Robert and get his tux. And tell Tanya to come in and fix my makeup. I'm getting married. Isn't your love the baby getting married? I love you. I love you too. OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. Come on. It's OK. It's OK. Baby, I thought it was a wedding. Let's go. Yeah, dear, let's go. I'm sure you're in need of a drink right about now. Look, just go back in there and have a seat for me, all right? Hey, Tasha, I just want to apologize if you felt like I disrespected you or the church earlier with my dates. Whatever, Devin. I'm serious. I know better. Sometimes I just take things a little too far. Look, they'll be at the reception, but they'll have each other to entertain. And anyway, I was trying to chill with you tonight. What do you say? Uh, no. But you can take me to lunch tomorrow. It's a date. This old fool got us lost three, four times. Come on. We took a small detour. Small detour, my ass. I feel like the two should express what they feel from the heart at this moment. Robin, today I vow to become one with you and only you. To love and to cherish you as Christ has taught us how to love. My promise to you today is to be strong in mind and body and spirit when you're feeling weak. I thank God for leading me to my missing rib and for allowing me to become whole with you. Thomas, this has already started off with many challenges, but I stand here in front of you and in front of God and promise to keep Christ in our lives and in our decisions. And I know that love is patient and bears many things. And I vow that I will be one with you today so that we can bear those things together. And so our love can truly show what God's kingdom is really like. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride.